Hey there, this is Veena from Pate Cake, the channel that's about baking and much much more. A warm welcome to my channel. Today, let's make flavorful Goan Sonia Rus, a dish that's popularly served at breakfast time in restaurants across Goa. So let's dive straight into making it right now at Pate Cake. Here I have 3 quarters of a cup, around 140 grams of white vatanas or white peas that I had washed well and soaked overnight in more than twice the volume of water. I'll now pressure cook these along with a small potato. Once the cooker comes to full pressure, I'll lower the heat and cook the vatanas and the potato under pressure for around 9 to 10 minutes. I'll pressure cook these and be back. Here's the cooked potato and the white peas. I've peeled and chopped the boiled potato. To make the tsonia rose or white pea curry, we'll also need 3 quarters of a cup of grated fresh coconut, one small sliced onion, one small finely chopped onion, three finely chopped green chilies and a few spices. These include one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one and a half teaspoons of dhania jeera or coriander cumin powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of pepper powder. We'll also need to soak a small ball of tamarind in a little water for extracting the pulp. Now let's grind the coconut, sliced onion and turmeric powder with a little water. Here's the ground mix. In this kadai, I have 2 tablespoons of oil heating on a medium flame. To it, I'll add the chopped green chilies and the chopped onion. Let's saute these till the onion just begins to brown. And then add in the cumin seeds. I didn't add them earlier because I didn't want them to get burnt while browning the onions. Now let's add in the cooked vatanas and the ground coconut mix. I've rinsed the grinder jar with a little water and will add this too to our curry. Next, let's add the remaining dry spices. The garam masala, the dhania jeera powder and the ground pepper. Let's mix everything and then stir in the tamarind extract. At this stage, you could adjust the consistency of the curry by adding a little water if you want to. I'll now add around 3 quarters of a teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of sugar and give the curry a good stir. It's now time to sample our Tsonia Rose and adjust the seasonings if necessary. It's perfect. Just needs a quarter teaspoon of salt. Finally, I'll stir in the chopped potato, lower the flame, let the curry simmer for a couple of minutes and then turn off the heat. As a final garnish, 
you could add a little chopped coriander to the delicious sonia rose and so here it is a super tasty goan curry or usal you could enjoy for breakfast lunch or dinner you could have it with soft bread rolls or chapatis do make it taste it and let me know how you like it okay but first don't forget to subscribe for more of such recipes until we meet again take care and happy cooking